Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Projects. In today's video we're going to be doing Wreck This Journal. I'm so excited. Yeah. I love doing Wreck This Journal so I'm really glad you're enjoying it too because it's one of my favourites. I'm quite proud of my journal so far. It's looking um, thick. I'm really looking forward to it looking this thick one day. It's going to be so exciting. Oh. Put chocolate in there. Yep, that's right. I've got a bar of chocolate in my book. <laughs> Don't just hide chocolate in my books. It's because I've already started filming this video and I was eating chocolate while uh, doing it, which you'll see later on in the video. Anyway, where was we? I have chosen three uh, really exciting fun pages to do. <laughs> what are we doing? I have to remind myself. No, not that one. We're going to be doing two on this. My idea was to uh, draw some food because we chew on food. And I'm going to do probably a selection of my favourite things like chocolate cake. I can't stop thinking about chocolate cake at the minute. I'm um, trying to watch the calories at the minute because over lockdown I've eaten far too much food. I'm trying to watch my calories but... Um, there's you catching me with chocolate sat in my book. <laughs> oh, chocolate cake. Oh, to eat chocolate cake again. There is Easter soon. You've probably noticed all the Easter eggs behind me. So I'm going to be doing two on this. I'm going to draw lots of pictures. I'm going to be doing the paper chain. So this contains lots of uh, little pieces of paper that you uh, can decorate and chop up and then turn it into a paper chain but it's got to be a flat paper chain so that it can sit nicely in the book or it will just get creased and ruined so uh, yeah so it's quite exciting and then finally the one that I I've already started filming so I won't show you but it's a uh, bring the book in the shower with you let's go straight to that I'm gonna go have a bath I'm gonna take the book with me and do some drawing because that is a normal thing to do. So I've been setting up this lovely bath for myself, a bit of pampering. Look, my bath is now purple. And don't worry, I'm not gonna drop my wreck this journal in the bath. I don't actually want to wreck it. I'm just gonna do some drawing in the bathtub because that'll be fun. As you can see on the left side we've got an empty space and here's the chocolate <laughs> that I was talking about that I will be nibbling throughout this drawing. It's actually um, an unusual chocolate. It's lemon and juniper oil which is a little bit strange. At first I was like hmm but then I got really addicted and I really like it. Notice my duck here. I actually painted this duck a few weeks back and I'm doing a little paint on rubber duck series. So if you wanna watch that video, feel free to click on that link above. So as you can see, I'm uh, drawing a lady in a bathtub. She's relaxing amongst so many bubbles. And then in the background is this lovely window and it's got plants and royal curtains. So now we are moving on to the next day. I didn't want to do the painting in the bath because I'm using watercolour and I didn't want to, you know, ruin my watercolours by letting the paint be exposed to all the steam of the bath. Instead, I did the painting in my usual art space and I'm just adding colour to this lovely picture. So I was really proud of this. It went exactly how I wanted it to go. And I think one of my favourite parts is the curtains because they are see-through. So they're like a voile curtain. And yeah, I really enjoyed having the window come through behind it and making them, you know, a more clear curtain. I just thought it was really cool. Um, but not only did I decide to do it clear, I thought to add a little bit of something to it, uh, I wanted to put glitter on there. So, you know, it's this shimmery voile curtain coming across. So after it dried, I just put a bit of glue on there and then sprinkled this beautiful holographic glitter over the top. And I just think it 
it really adds something to the picture. So yeah, I really enjoyed that one. It was fun, really fun. So next up, we're gonna do the paper chain. Uh, I'm gonna use my Posca paint markers. This is the first time I've ever used Posca. Now, I've got acrylic paint pens, I've had acrylic paint pens for a long time, but I always knew Posca was, you know, the, the creme de la creme, and I've always wanted to own them, but they are quite pricey compared to normal acrylic paint pens. So my husband wonderfully bought them for me for my Mother's Day gift, and I'm finally getting around to using them in my Reckless Journal, and I love them. They're so, so nice. And it was just such a pleasure to fill in all these uh, paper chain uh, parts. And just, it was really quite therapeutic doing like zentangly designs. And yeah, it was good fun. And the paint markers work perfectly in this book. So definitely recommend them. And they work on the colour pages as well, uh, which not a lot of things do. So that is a massive bonus. So now I've got all these lovely designs on there. I've got to cut out the page and then cut out all these tiny little strips. I'm making sure I'm keeping this top part because that is what it's going to be attached to. So now I'm going to stick this make a paper chain piece back to the page. I actually wish that I stuck it on the left page because that's actually a blank page so I don't know why I did that but never mind I stuck it onto the right page uh, coloured in all the little links just to make it a bit more interesting and that is what I'm going to attach my paper chain to okay so here I am making the actual paper chain as I said before I didn't want it to be a round chain I needed it to be flat so it would sit in my book so it's exactly the same as making a normal paper chain but you just squish it flat so it's folded in half um, and then keep going until all the pieces are stuck together again this was very therapeutic and I didn't expect to enjoy this one so much but I really did I enjoyed colouring in the little designs and making the actual paper chain it was really fun to do Okay, let's move on to the last page. Now, this is my two on this page. First, I drew out the design and I also copied the, the titles so that I could literally just stick this over the page because I wanted to use a nice watercolor paper. So what I decided to draw was my Walker's Ready Salted Crisps because this is one of my favourite snacks in the universe and something that I'm really missing at the moment is chocolate cake as you heard me talk about in the intro. So what I did was I drew out the design, added ink to it and then I'm using my watercolours and I just went over and over and over again deepening the colours and keeping those highlights there to almost create this shiny effect to the walkers packet and have all the light you know hitting those certain points and 
And then moving on to the chocolate cake, I just wanted to add loads of texture. So I just kept on layering over, darkening it up more and more until it got this dark, rich, velvety chocolate cake color. Um, and I was really pleased with this. I kind of did like a stippling effect to really get that texture in there. And yeah, I think it worked quite well. I think my Walker's crisps are better, but I think together they work perfectly. Now I'm just sticking this onto this double page, covering up the old design. Then we need to um, eat it. So yes, I'm actually gonna chew on this. I wanted to <laughs> have these chew marks in the paper to, uh, you know, wreck the journal without wrecking it. Yum. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one. I really, really did. I love drawing food. If, like me, you like getting creative, uh, not just art, not just crafts, but even if it's DIY or baking or gardening, whatever you're into that allows you to get creative, then feel free to come and join my uh, Facebook group. It's called Cassie's Creativity Club. And basically, we just share our artwork. We encourage each other, inspire each other. Okay, so I absolutely love sharing your creations. Now this week, I'm sharing this incredible piece by Nikki. She has done this incredible wall hanging and it's like a sunset and a beach and it's just incredible. I love it. I want them and I want them hanging in my house. I think it's such a unique design and I just wanted to share it with you all. Okay, so random comment of the week is from Lema Sescon. I'm so sorry, why can't I ever pronounce names right? Um, she said, awesome job, lots of exclamation marks and a little heart. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your lovely comments. Uh, she actually commented on my uh, previous short this week. So this is me painting in 10 hundreds colouring book. I also post that on my TikTok so feel free to head on over to there and follow me. If you haven't already feel free to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support and I'll see you all next week. Bye!